Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of December 3rd. And thank you to everyone who has been helping my channel grow and getting noticed and subscribing. Thank you for doing that and for all the thumbs up on the videos and comments. Thank you again. All right. Five of Pentacles. That's nothing fatal. A little bit of financial loss. Maybe you have, you know, come up against a little bit of expenses that you weren't quite expecting. Maybe you've had to, you know, take some time off work because you had to pick up this flu bug, you know, something like that. But you're okay. You know, you will more than, you know, recoup for sure. You know, you're just worrying yourself needlessly so try to breathe a little bit and this will come back around in no time at all Ooh. and the knight of cups so creativity romance maybe you're offering your opening up your heart a little bit to somebody you know just feeling the ground wondering whether you should you know, try to get involved again or not for some of you. But you're taking your time at this. You're realizing that, okay, you know, I know that love's out there and out of bounds, but I need to take this slow. But, you know, that's not usually in your nature either. But for others of you, this could be a, a means of transportation, like travel by boat as well. You know, cruise line canoe, kayak, maybe, you know, whatever it happens to be, but you're just taking some time for yourself. You know, you're like Prince Charming. There you are, you know, Sir Lancelot. You, you come riding in on your horse and your, your, you know, your heart's wide open. It's just who you are. <laughs> Look at that. And the two of cups. And so the partnerships are there. The love is there. The new beginnings are there. You're understanding that, you know, here it comes, ready or not. Do I accept this? Do I not accept this? Do I offer this in some cases? Now, this could be somebody that you've known for a long time and uh, they're just now re-entering back into your life and you're wondering, okay, do I take it slow and steady or do I try to make sure that, you know, I jump in with both feet? But this is going to be somebody that you just get along with you mesh really well but you're still taking it slow and steady as you go you're not trying to you know over step too quickly oh and look at that ace of wands so new projects feeling inspired you know you're feeling creative you have the willpower to complete something and you're moving forward on all kinds of new projects things are starting to open up for you and once you accept the possibilities and that opening, more things are going to happen for you. Like this is in career and love and family. And, you know, this is like a very blessed time for you in all areas of your life. And you're going to recognize it when you see it, which is very nice. Look at you celebrating. So you completed something. This could be... Um, an invitation as well for many of you, you know, friendships, inviting you to, you know, have a celebration with them, celebrate their birthdays, baby showers, anniversary, just get togethers because you haven't seen each other for, you know, quite some time. And, and you're very happy about this. At first, you're hesitant, but I think you're going to go to this. You're going to take this invitation and you're going to be quite glad when you do because it's going to open up many other avenues for you. In different areas of your life and look at you the six of Pentacles yeah you're a very giving person you know and sometimes you almost overextend yourself you overgive you know like you're always trying to help others but you have to realize to step back a bit and accept their help as well and maybe that's where you're at now you're realizing that it's not only the the best gift is to give, it's sometimes the better gift is to receive. And you're 
learning to accept other people's help and, and be grateful for it. It's not that you're ever ungrateful. It's just you have a hard time accepting other people's help. And the two of swords. Yeah. You're facing a difficult challenge. You're weighing the pros and cons now because you haven't taken action on something because of other things in your life. And now this is the week that you're realizing that, okay, now I am, you know, almost at a deadlock with myself. I have to figure out which way I want to go. And this is the week that you're, you know, taking the blindfolds off, laying the swords down and picking a path because you realize that you can't stay in limbo much longer. And the 10 of rods. Yeah. Letting other people take their own responsibilities is a hard thing to do for you because you always like to help. You're a very hard worker. You know, once you, you put your head down and decide to do something or start something, you're all in for it. And this is the week that you're realizing that some of the burdens that has you've picked up along the way wasn't meant for you to keep carrying. And you have to learn to let them go because that's uh, affecting you in many areas of your life, your health, your home, you know, and you want to just go a little smoother with your life. And that's where you're putting the burdens back with where they belong. And the hermit. Yeah, you're stepping back, you know, you're getting away for yourself to go in a little bit solo this week, which is what you need. You need to reheal, recoup, you know, refocus in many cases for many of you because a lot of things have changed very quickly around you this week and in the last few weeks and now you have to get your head wrapped around it so you're just taking that time out to yourself you know turning off the telephone and watching tv and trying not to think about anything and the chariot look at you go you're healing yourself you know, you're understanding that the situation was at a dead end and you have to let it go. And, you know, this could be in a job or whatever, but you're healing yourself and you're moving forward now. So that's very nice. You know, and this could be for some of you, maybe thinking of taking a trip somewhere and getting, making sure that all your, if you're traveling by vehicle, that it's running in, you know, good condition and you're taking care of that but you're moving forward this week you've already got a vision of what you want to bring into your life and you can see that you can achieve it which is nice so you're headed in that direction and you're not taking no for an answer and the king of swords so look at you most definitely you know head over heart you're not getting distracted you know, you're, self, you're telling yourself the absolute truth and you're listening this time. You know, you're being very honest with yourself as you move forward. You know, you're actually finally, you know, coming up with the right words to deal with problems. You know, if people weren't quite saying things correctly for you, then you were making sure that they did. You know, this is if there was a problem, you're taking it on head on. And you're dealing with it because you want to find solutions so that you don't have to carry the excess baggage anymore. And you're moving forward. And the Seven of Pentacles. So your mind is on your money. You know, you want a long-term view of, you know, all your hard work. You want to make sure that in the future, there's something to show for all of that. So you're, you know, you got your head down and you're really, you know, forging ahead with, what you want to bring into your life and you're getting more information to how to grow your your finances and the ten of swords so definitely a painful ending happened that left a really much larger wound than maybe perhaps you thought this could have been a betrayal as well as a loss for many of you and something collapsed around you and you realize that okay that's done, dead, and over with. I can't fix it, change it, or correct it. So you're going to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and move yourself forward from here. You know, you realize that the only thing that that's doing is giving you time to 
feel sorry for yourself and you want to have none of it. So you're healing yourself, you're moving on, and with that situation, you are done and there's not ever going to change your mind about it. All right. I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card. But your cards are all about moving forward into the future, making sure that you have enough money in the future, good investments, you know, letting other people take responsibilities for their own problems and moving yourself in a more happy way. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. Now, isn't that perfect? And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.